The big challenge for us for Series 2 of Tuned was to try and make something that was different from Series 1, to do something that was technically and creatively challenging. One of the things we decided for this series was to make it much more cinematic. The whole thing's kind of scaled up, the style of it, the look, the music score, it, it's much more ambitious. And to make it into something that worked individually as episodes, but also came together as, you know, a complete whole. Last season was um, effectively a sitcom. Um, this is a comedy film. In series one, we had Jensen and Lewis up to various antics at the McLaren Technology Center. Cool. And that was a lot of fun. This year it was Jensen and Sergio, and so they carried on in a very much central part of series two, as is the professor, Alexander Armstrong, once again brought huge character and humor to that role. Je suis très délicieux. <laughs> we wanted to expand the whole scope of the series, and McLaren's 50th anniversary was a great opportunity to do that. This was a celebration which enabled us to explore some of the other drivers, the McLaren champions. To dig into the past, to explore these different worlds, the different periods, the cars, the drivers, the look of the era, we just realised very quickly that that would be a really exciting prospect. Obviously the fun part was meeting all the drivers, recording them. Is Emerson actually a werewolf? Ooh. Well, maybe. <laughs> James Hunt. That was a challenge. A lot of James's behaviour was beyond the limits of family entertainment. It's not entertainment. family entertainment. It's, no, it's not it's family not. entertainment. Just doing an after-race debriefing. We were lucky enough to get the voice of Tom Hunt, his son. The name's Hunt. James Hunt. Whose voice actually is extremely similar. There's a race going on, dear boy. Can't this wait, 57 laps? <laughs> oh, this is uh, good fun. We weren't entirely sure what to expect. As it turned out, he really was very charming. The script required him to build up a bit of anger. I never do that. I never do that, so I never... <laughs> that's the problem. We wanted the Senna episode to be as if it was part of the Senna documentary that just didn't make it into the actual movie. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Senna. So getting Bruno Senna to do Ayrton's voice, that was a massive privilege, really. I think Ayrton would have uh, thought it was really, really good. With Mika, you never know what you're going to get. We thought you'd have a bit of trouble with us putting him in cape and pants, but um, he was laughing constantly. How about a pot of pants? What about the pants? What about the pants? We wanted to make a story about how did Bruce start out, that inspirational quality that existed from childhood. Hopefully we've managed to capture the spirit of McLaren and combined it with the spirit of Tuned.